are you up to? Hide, Henry. Time to get started. How do you know it's her who will come out and not someone else? She got the letter and necklace, didn't she? She knows that I'm... That is, her secret admirer is coming. And what am I supposed to do? What do you think? Don't prompt me from that book of poetry. I wouldn't. Who's there? I can't see you. Your most ardent admirer, fair maid. Uh huh. And do you have a name? What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would, would still be a flower, wouldn't it? Start. How? What are you saying? I can't hear you. Gentle night do I linger on, I yearn thus for my love so long. Without her words to still my breast, who shall set my soul to rest? Gentle knight, why linger on? I earned this from my love so long. Whip out your worthy silky breasts, who shall suck my salty bits? No! Then his murderers took everything I had. And now my heart in sorrow dwells, from melancholic pining swells, since I, alas, was forced to part from the mistress of my heart. I know my horses sort of well, some alcohol from nine to twelve. Seems I always have whores apart from the mistress of my heart. Psst. What on earth are you saying? What's that hissing? It's a, a feral goose here in the bushes. Ah, Lord, let me not wait in vain. I long to see my love again. Oh, gentle sir, be of good cheer. I shall not cling to another, dear. Landlord, let me not wait in vain. I long to sing and laugh again. Oh, gentle sir, get off your chair. I shall not bring you another beer. Jesus, Henry, what kind of yokel nonsense are you babbling? Me? You're the one who's babbling? You're an odd one. I've never heard such peculiar poetry in my life. Where on earth did you come up with it? It's, it's the latest fashion in France. You've done enough harm. Better shut up and leave it to me. How did you like it, dearest? Ah, how tender you are. I'm from Scarlet's good Father is coming! Hide! Who was that talking? If it's some dandy again, I'll gut him with my filleting knife. I didn't hear anyone. Did you hear what he said? Right but I have a bad feeling about this, Hans. I think we should. Are you still there? Still here, my love. How could I have apart from you? Father's coming! He'll kill you! He will not! Because it'll never cross his mind where I'll be. Henry, it's time for me to claim my prize. Whatever happens, cover my back. There you are! You seducer! Now you'll see how a butcher protects his daughter's honor. Buy me time! You got some explaining to do, you bastard! What are you after? You bastard sneaking around an honest citizen's house in the dark? I went to mourn over the grave of my great-grandmother. Oh, yeah. Then what are you doing right beneath my window, eh? Well, the question is, why are you trampling on great-granny's grave, eh? Enough of your horse shit. One more word and I'll have you. <laughs> you really came. How could I not, my dearest? <laughs> not so fast. Prince Charming, but since you're here... Hey, what was that? What was what? That noise. I'm sure I heard a strange noise. We're here in the cemetery. Maybe restless spirits, what do you reckon? I'd swear it came from the window of my own house. 
Well, what's that got to do with me? Someone's been creeping around after my daughter. I come out and I find you here. Quite a coincidence, eh? So, out with the truth. You're quite mistaken. I've never laid eyes on your daughter, and if she looks anything like you, I'd rather keep it that way. Why, you fucking... Ah, oh, uh, there's, there's a lace here. Ah, oh, untie it. Oh. Don't try to make a fool of me. I heard it clearly. What was that? I wouldn't beg good Are you all right? It seems to me you're hearing things other folk can't hear. That's not good. You're saying I'm hearing voices in my head? Well, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Sent you for a scene of Palot's heard voices, too, and she found in a monastery and churches and things. I heard voices, too. Uh, well, could have been voices. I wouldn't swear to it, though. Look, fellas, I was standing right here, and I didn't hear a thing. Do you take me for a madman? Whatever you are, I want to know what you're doing under my daughter's window and who was talking to her. I heard it clear as day. Good neighbour, it can't be denied that old age dulls a man's ears. I'm here alone, praying for the souls of the good people resting in the cemetery. I've nothing to do with your daughter. Hmm, that voice sounded different to yours, though. But where did he get to? You must have seen him. Unless, unless you're covering for him. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. 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 Oh, Christ almighty. It's haunted here. I knew I should never have come near this cemetery at night. The only one doing any haunting here is you. And I've done wasting time with you. I'll beat you to a pulp, and then that other bastard. You'll get the hiding of your life. Greetings. What do you need? How did it go with Carolina Sands? Henry, it was the most wonderful night of my life. She was completely entranced by my courting. I hardly had to touch her, and she melted in my arms. And then she took me to paradise. It was glorious. It was sublime. Thanks, in part, to you, my faithful henchman and messenger of love. You've earned your reward. It was an honour, Sir Hans. When are you going to see her again? Oh, I'm not going to see her again. All beautiful things must come to an end. And, after all, I am a nobleman and she is the butcher's daughter. Well, that's how it ends, with the love of your life. After the secret gifts, the letters, the intrigues, reciting poetry in the moonlight. My eloquence was wasted on her, Henry. Imagine, the silly cow couldn't even read. She returned the letter to me unopened. Here's the letter, Henry. Read it. At least you're capable of appreciating my literary talent. Read and learn from a poet. God be with you. And well, I'm sure we can come to some agreement, your lordship. Well, bearing in mind, Master Butcher, that we have nothing to come to agreement about yet. Well, yes, sir. Uh, well, I mean, no, sir. Well, I mean, I thought I ought to let you know what happened. Like, uh, my daughter's good name could be Bismur. Bismur. Oh, dragged through the mud. And his young lordship's too, of course. Oh, only if she should find us. Only if she should find herself with a permanent reminder. Oh, well, that could happen yet, sir, couldn't it? I mean, if her belly starts to grow. You know how word gets around, and, well, folk would assume that Sir Hans is the father. Even if some other young fellow was to come along in the meanwhile, and, well, you know, uh. And we already know. The girl can't be watched. Are you trying to blackmail me? Have you forgotten that I am the lord of this town and that you are nothing but a stinking butcher? Oh, God forbid, sir. I, I'm just thinking of his young lordship's reputation and my girl's. But, uh, of course, if his young lordship was to recognize the bastard as his own and pay for his upbringing... You can thank your lucky stars you're the only butcher around here. Otherwise, I'd have you out on your ear this very day. But, sir, I'm only to... Here, take this, you damn scoundrel, and never show your face here again. Oh, thank you, Your Lordship. I'm sure this would be enough. Thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. 
blasted fool cape on. I'll wring his neck. Neck. I'll have his balls on a platter!